Recently, I released a mono red burn list that turned out to be pretty competitive. And uh, let me just tell you, Alchemy just took mono red burn to a whole nother level with this one. Cue the intro. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we have a mono red burn list for you, and this is kind of like a version 2.0 because we did actually just make a mono red burn list prior to Alchemy's release. And um, I've been holding on to this one for a while because I didn't expect mono red to get this many good cards uh, from Alchemy. So I've been holding on to this one. And I didn't want it to be released so close to the other one. So I couldn't wait any longer. I had to showcase this one today because it is a ton of fun. But before I break it down, as always, if you're new here and you find any value in today's content, I just ask if you wouldn't take a moment to just subscribe to the channel. It is a free way to help support the channel. Also, you know, you'll get put into the feed and get pushed out some more of our content, which we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you don't miss out on any future content. Uh, with that being said, though, let's talk about the list, guys. So we've got some new cards, man. Let's talk about Conductive Current for a second. Conductive Current is a sweeper that deals three damage across the board. You, I love this card a lot because we were running Crush the week before because the other meta in standard was more mono white, small creatures. This, uh, you know, this meta is a little bit bigger. We're talking about clerics, we're talking about werewolves. You know, three damage is a pretty significant difference. Uh, on top of that, on the back end of this, it says if a spell would deal non-combat damage to a permanent uh, player, it deals that much damage plus two instead. That is a perpetual um, statement put on another card. So. Let's just take uh, Magic Missile, for example. That Magic Missile is the card you're going to want this to, you know, uh, give that perpetual ability to. Because after you run the Conductive Current, you give the Magic Missile the perpetual, you know, two additional damage. What this card now does is you split, you know, three damage between three different creatures. Well, if you split those three pieces of damage out, you know, to three different targets, they now deal three, three, and three. So every one damage you deal, it's dealing two additional damage. So Magic Missile is the most ideal card to match up with Conductive Current, but any card really is going to get really a, a lot better uh, when you're talking about like Thundering Rebuke, you know, Inspiration dealing three damage, all of these things dealing, uh, you know, two extra damage is very helpful, especially in a big cleric, uh, cleric meta right now. So um, that's a really great new sweeper. We've also got another cleric destroyer with the brittle blast this thing is gonna deal five damage to a creature which is great it takes out all the valkyries in the world but what's even better about this card is it's going to put perpetually on every creature on the field when it dies it goes to exile and with uh you know clerics they thrive on their graveyard being filled up they thrive on bringing things back from the dead getting things to exile is huge especially when you don't necessarily kill the specific creature it goes to exile you actually give the whole board that perpetual ability so you're eventually going to sweep the board and all these things with flashback these you know these clerics they don't get to come back they don't get to keep wreaking havoc so really nice addition as well the rest of the deck is pretty similar we try to win the game through Stes uh, stesnia uprising this is going to deal seven damage over the top surprisingly you know and kill your opponent without them realizing what's happening uh, we've also got thermal alchemist which is going to uh, tick down you know one damage every single time we cast a spell so this can get pretty nasty pretty quick and then we've also got chandra which is going to deal one damage every turn as well over time we're dealing we're throwing fireballs at their face we're dealing one damage here and there and then eventually they'll be at seven life you know or 14 if we have two of these out there and then we'll just throw two ginormous seven damage fireballs at their face we've also obviously got some like smaller removal we're just really trying to remove creatures off the board as we're dealing a significant amount of damage we got three Den of the Bugbearers, two Field of Ruins, pretty standard. And then I decided with my sideboard, we went with two Environmental Sciences, one Reduced to Memory, one Start from Scratch, a Spirit Summoning, Introduction to Prophecy, and a Mascot Exhibition. That is the deck breakdown though, guys. Let's jump into the gameplay footage now. Enjoy the games and we'll see you back here for some final thoughts. Peace. All right, here we go. It's Monday, baby. Christmas is over, but you know what? We're still on the holidays. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday weekend, man. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today, we're playing some Mono Red Burn. We did play a list very similar to this one, but I did want to try it out in Alchemy because I think Alchemy's Mono Red Burn got a big, big upgrade in a few cards. So really excited to showcase this one. But uh, 
yeah man had a very very busy day today had to go run around and do a bunch of errands but finally get to relax and play some magic that was a long queue but we're finally in a game pretty pumped though my wife actually check this out we're gonna hang this up later but my wife got me this uh metal disc plate with all the uchiha eyes man and naruto oh this looks so sick can't wait to hang that up on the wall behind me all right let's see what we got here Gonna have to mulligan that. All right, there we go. This is much better. The reason we had a mulligan that firsthand is because we really need to have either an uprising or, um, you know, the, the ther what's his name? The thermal? Let me see. Hold on. The name slipped my mind. Thermo. Yeah, Thermo Alchemist. That, that card. We kind of need one of those two cards. If we don't have those, we don't really have a win con. So, tough. It's really tough. All right, that's fine. Target creature gets 1-0 until the end of turn. Okay, I just, I, for some reason I thought that gave like indestructibility, so I'm glad, glad that's not the case. I'm happy to get Chandra down here because it's not in danger of, you know, dying to these, uh, you know, little one ones here. All right, a field of ruin. Guess we can wait on that just in case. Uh, let's go here. Let's see what we get here. That's not bad. That's this not bad. Not idea. bad. Not bad. Hmm. Not what I needed though. Not what I needed. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to go here with the brittle blast and gonna have to give up the royal eruption. Maybe next turn. <laughs> Because the uh, Chandra should it should survive one more go around here. Oh my gosh, an Inquisitor Captain. Come on, man. All right, we're going to need our Sweeper. We're going to need our Sweeper. If we can somehow get the Conductive Current off the top, we're in really good shape. If we can't, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay. Okay, we well, follow our hearts. I mean, it's something. It is something. Not the something I wanted to see, though. We're in a bit of trouble here. Um, <laughs> opponent's already at 25 life. Inquisitor Captain just obviously just runs us over man that card is so good it is so good especially at like refueling their board after they've been swept or, and things like that all right interesting all right well we're gonna definitely block here make a trade Thundering Rebuke. Okay. That's a card. Thundering Rebuke. We go to the sideboard. We grab what? Man, this is tough. This is tough indeed. I think that's the play. Let's get both uh, both the one ones down. We're at what ten? We are not able to block anymore. Okay. I guess we go here with this. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But it is something we can do. Um. 
Might as well attack with both here. Get their, their life down as low as we possibly can. They do block one, but we deal one damage. We get two new fresh blockers out of the uprising. And it puts us back at like a 12. Because I didn't really want to get to 13 this turn anyways. Because I didn't want to do that until we're ready to go and killing them. Alright, that's annoying, but I think we're okay. We're okay for now. Spike field hazard. None of these are any good. Come on, we need like a sweeper. Okay, hold on now. Hold on now. Another uprising puts us at 12, and then we could shoot him down for 7, 14. I could blow up their whole kit and caboodle here at their board state. No attacks. Do it like that. I think we got him. Um, let's just decline these two. I think we got him, man. I do. Um, they're down to their last two creatures. One card in hand. Hopefully, it's not an Inquisitor Captain. Otherwise, I'm gonna eat my words. But if it's not an Inquisitor Captain, we might be in a good spot here. Uh, this is a really good top deck. Uh, let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. We got to get as much of this in as we can. Uh, we're going to keep refueling these creatures anyways with these other uprisings. So we're totally fine. Uh, we do need to keep four back though because this is going to grow to a four four and we can uh, quadruple block. Oh, the pyre. You love to see the pyre. That's probably the worst card we could have seen, but it's okay. We can exile the um, Valkyrie if it wants to come down. We already got one, so. We already got one of you. I still wouldn't mind a conductive current, though, man. A conductive current would be great. Is that what it's called? It is called conductive current. All right, the Pyre sacks that, and they're going for the Righteous Valkyrie, which I can't blame them, but it's going to die, so yay us. Gave up a way, though, to, uh, you know, get a creature bigger and bigger. And now your two Valkyries down. This is going to exile. Can never be returned to the field. God, you gotta love clerics, huh? Clerics is kind of the new, the new meta, which means I dislike it. Anything that's meta, I dislike it. Nice. That's actually huge. It's going to give us a lot of card advantage here. I'd love to see it. Listen, pal, I'm with the Dang. Game. This is a fun idea. Get in there, baby. Let's go. Let's have some fun now. We're going to have some fun now. Let's freaking go. Okay. Ooh, I was a little worried about this matchup. I really thought we were just going to be toast right out of the gate, but we're doing all right, man. We're doing all right. Stesnia Uprising just really producing for us right now with these 1-1s, one -ones, but um, would like to get them, you know, down to 13 so we can talk about blowing up their face. Oh, wow. They're going straight in, huh? Okay, so they're going to gra grab the Skyclave because they want to be able to return things. Oh, okay. Inquisitor Captain. That's not good. Another Inquisitor Captain. That's also not good. So, Conductive Current looking really, really good right about now. How many do I run, by the way? Four, right? Okay, I thought so. Where's it been, man? We could really use it right about now. Thermo Alchemist. Thundering Rebuke. On, sure. Think of something good. Um... Do that. Get in there. We lose one, but they take seven. Okay, a lot of damage. And I like the Thermal Alchemist here. It can really kind of finish them off here. If they're not able to remove the Thermal Alchemist, it's just going to get them over time. It's just going to be one of those things that they're... They're not going to realize how bad it's hurting them until it's too late. Plus these uprising, man. Look at this. We've already got, what, nine? Nine creatures on the board. 
It's a lot of value, man. It's a lot of value. The ability to go anywhere with the damage too is really helpful uh, when we're talking about clerics because that was able we were able to you know deal with a couple of the voice of the bless so this is really really nice all right they finally take the little one one away And uh, if you guys don't know, a lot of the reason why they're uh, a lot of these cards are like going to exile is because look at these perpetual words that are on the card. So if they ever dies, it would go to exile instead. And the reason being is because they were on the field when I played this card. It says uh, all the creatures on the field would get the perpetual exiling effect. Uh, let's see here. Let's go here. I think I got to block everything, man. I think I do. Another voice of the blessed is a big problem. I'm hoping we can find something for that. Magic missile. That is something. It's not great, but it's something. And we'll play another thermal alchemist here. It's a race to the finish line, man. It's a race to the finish line. Taking six, they're down to nine. Okay, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And now we got an active thermal alchemist as well, which is tapping down and dealing one damage every turn. They are on the clock. Next turn, this one has no more summoning sickness and the real damage begins. We should see a scoop here. There's really no way of them to you know, mitigate this damage enough to survive. We could always plus Chandra to deal one damage as well. So there's one, two, plus the extra one this turn. So three, four, there's four damage that they can't stop coming through. Plus if we get another burn spell, it's another two. And then you got all these one ones attacking. So quite a bit of damage. I don't know how they're going to save themselves. They do tend to gain a lot of life with cleric stuff. So let's see. No enter the battlefield triggers though. So no life gain here. And deal one. All right, I'm going for a burn spell. Got it. We should all follow our hearts. But that is not the one I wanted to see. Conductive current, man. Is that what I wanted to see? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, it is the one I want to see. Check this out. So we're going to go here. Here. Swing in with the eight. They're going to block most of it, right? Then we're going to conduct uh, conductive current the board. And after this hits everything, we reset the board. And then our uh, St uh, Stesnia uprisings will deal the lethal blow. It will deal the lethal blow. Boom, baby. Let's go, dude. Mono red burn. I love this deck, man. I love burning our opponent, man. It's so different and it feels awesome, man. Especially when you beat clerics. GG. Chandra putting in work, man. All that extra card advantage. That that was really nice, man. We finally found our conductive current, which would have been really helpful earlier in, in that game. But we'll take it where we can get it. I love when I can get the current down to sweep the board and then I can make my magic missile deal more damage. That's really the, uh, the prime play right there. <sighs> Sorry, I am recording this pretty late. Pretty late in the evening. All right. Opponents running white. Oh boy, is this another cleric deck? I really hope not. It sure looks like it's gonna be. 
Double white sources, no turn, one play. My biggest uh, guess here would have to be clerics. Yep, there it is. There it is. And I do have to deal with this immediately because it gets too big. I can't burn it out. Elite Spellbinder, yikes. That's annoying, but it is easy to kill. It is easy to burn. So hopefully a magic missile and we can do the trick. Yep, that was the best card to take for sure. But we do have the uh, Stesnia Uprising coming in on uncontested. This did win us the game last game and it's probably going to win most of our games if I'm being honest. There's the captain. But uh, the captain does get swept with the current. So I'm very happy they played that this turn. If they hit a Valkyrie, it's annoying, but that's also annoying because that comes back as a 4-4 four, four instead of what I actually need it to be, which is an Uprising. <laughs> now, Thundering Rebuke hits harder. It hits for 6. So we can take out some uh, bigger creatures, which they will inevitably have. They will have some really big, chonky creatures because of all the life gain and 1-1 one, one counters they get for that. Man, it seems like I've been playing Clerics a lot lately. I feel like I need to maybe play a different deck. Or a different style of deck. Conductive Current is nice. I don't really like this play. It doesn't feel great just for those two creatures, but you know, lifelink. Oh no, no. Lifelink is a problem. And so dealing with it now is pretty important. We do get the alchemist down, which is another wind con of ours. It's a little bit more of a slow play, but it's, uh, it's, it's there. And we've got thundering rebuke now doing, uh, eight damage. So you can kill pretty much anything. Wish that was a magic missile though, man. All right, they want to bring in the phantom. That's fine. That doesn't really do much. That doesn't really do much. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Didn't expect that, but that's fine. Drawing a card is never terrible. Another alchemist. Nice. Okay. That's annoying. But we have another one. We do have another one. They have some more instant speed for two mana. So I'm guessing it's another faithful absence. This is not your typical uh, cleric's deck. That's for sure. They've got a few more tricks up their sleeve. Let's get in there, see if they want to block here. I would assume they'd start blocking, you know, pretty soon. Yeah, they do. They do. Alchemist comes in. Revitalize, okay. A little annoying. That's all though, just a bit annoying. Another apparition. That is wildly annoying. Okay. Three apparitions already. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Just got to get rid of one of these. Just deal six damage to it. Three, four. Perfect. Nice. I'll take that all day. 
and honestly in, in their mind that seems like a good exchange because they're taking one of my lands that can just keep coming back and doing some stuff but i mean we're trading a land for a 2-2 and we're ahead by you know this much and you've only got one card left i'll take it all day all right this is an easy kill for us we'd love to see that gone forever too which is even better and uh let's see let's see how they actually want to block here There we go. That's why you, that's why you check for the blocks first. You may just end up with lethal. You may end up with lethal. I like how we have to go look for a card in the sideboard when they're at zero. GG's. On to the next one. All right, we are rolling now. We are cooking. Cooking with some gasoline, baby. Can we get back in the 90s? That'd be great. <sighs> Too many failed experiments today, man. Need to get back in the 90s. All right, that's a conductive current. That's worthy of that. But ramping typically means they're gonna try to get some big stuff out, which I don't like. It's kind of sketchy. Can't really play these currents either without another red source, so that would be helpful as well. Man, this is a good current too, if I can hit a red source. Of course. Of course. All right, well. I mean, what do we do here? I think we just do this. I think we do this, ensure our land drop. Nice, that's pretty bad for us. Frostbite is helpful. So if we do this, we get another land. We Thundering Rebuke that. That seems good. That seems pretty good. We gain a bit of life off that exchange too, which is helpful. Rebuke you. You're gone. Uh, they're down to enough to actually activate the den of the bugbear, which would be really kind of not good for us. Really? How are we going to combat this, man? It just never stops can't get our footing we just can't get our footing man but if we can find one more red source off the top we'll be all right nice 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 there we go there we go. We took care of the board, but we do have to worry now about that den of the bugbear. It doesn't come down, but we do take four, man. Holy cow. We can't, we can't breathe, can we? Just cannot breathe right now. All right. This can stop the den of the bugbear. This stops you. And we take one from the Den of the Bugbears. One, one. That's assuming they get the land drop they need. Nice. That's pretty good for us. I like this. This is good. This is good. Oh, I've never crashed a wedding like this before. Do they have a plane? Oh, wait, why are they asking me to choose my target? I feel like that's never been done before. Do they usually ask me to do that? I feel like they don't. That kind of threw me off. That kind of threw me off. All right, we're back though. My brain, my brain short circuited just, just slightly, but we're back. Gold span dragon of all things. That's what you top deck. That's what they top deck. All right, well, I mean, we just couldn't catch a break here. I mean, we just, they, the pressure, the pressure was just so immense. And uh, we had to, we had to basically sit out one turn because we couldn't get that conductive current down. We had a, a field of ruin instead of a red source. 
And uh, unfortunately, they get lucky and top deck a third gold span dragon. We were actually doing really well too. Um, to be able to just shut down two gold spans and a reckless storm seeker, like man, we were doing, we we're doing well. But it is what it is. If we could have just got that Stesnia uprising down, man, we've been in really good shape. But we just never, we never had the time. We never had a play where we're like, dang, we could just use our mana proactively. We had to use it defensively that entire time. Very aggressive list. If it, if they couldn't find those gold spans, we've been fine, but they found them, so we got smoked. All right, this ain't bad. It's a good solid hand. <clears throat> solid hand. <clears throat> we get the alchemist on two, which is going to be really, really good. We haven't done that yet. Island. Okay, we got the island boys here. What's up with this? Oh, they're they're big time blue, huh? Azorius control. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Let's just start burning them out, man. Azorius control. We're going to go face with most of these, uh, these spells here, but these are all creatures and planeswalkers. That's a good top deck. Can't forget to trigger the alchemist here. Divide by zero. Okay. That's fine. That is a okay with me. We got the burn off, which is great. It's still on the stack. So boom, another three and uh, probably going to grab this. Kind of an awkward two drop, but you know what? We got to do what we got to do. To fairy, we'll put that to exile because they're going to gain life off of it, which is rough. If they on tap a blue source here, fading hope is definitely something that could be in the cards, which is a little annoying. Don't worry, it's only a little mischief. Grab another land, okay. Exile that bad boy and then next turn we get down both of our alchemists here and we start going to town with that Key to the archive. Oh, it's a judge This doesn't have lifelink does it does not okay, and it's a defender for now Up to All right, and pass the turn. At least the Faithbound Judge is something that's like we can target with like our, our burn spells. So that's kind of nice. It can double activate our, you know, our alchemist and whatnot. That's annoying. Wow. Not even a gift bag. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Wow, that's that's something. Hmm. Do we give him the opportunity to get the Faithbound Judge out again? I mean, maybe. I don't like it. I I probably should have waited one more, one or two more turns, but it's fine. Another judge. Let's get that trigger and we will go with another alchemist here. Let's draw a card. If we hit a land drop, we'll be glad we did this on the main phase. Conductive current, not that helpful if I'm being honest. Not that helpful at all. <clears throat> we are getting double the the damage now with the uh, alchemist. Doomscar, really? That's rough. That is rough. Well, let's just waste this so we can get an extra point of damage in here. 
And we can activate Den of the Bugbear now, but they do have a uh, Field of Ruin. We're almost there though. Oh, what a top deck. What a top deck. All right, what do we want to grab here with the inspiration though? We have two mana open. Two mana open. Man, do we just want to grab environmental just to have something to play this turn? Might as well up our mana game a little bit. We'll hit the inspiration again and then we can go and get a prophecy which will allow us to draw a card. All right, so they have two of these, which are fine. If they put us on a three turn clock, we're totally cool with that. Uh, I'm just worried about what that is. If that's like a memory deluge, we're in trouble. But if it was a memory deluge, they definitely would have played it over activating the field of ruin. So it's definitely not that. So we might actually pull this out. We might actually be able to pull this out. Is that it? I think we win. I think we win, ladies and gentlemen. This gives inspiration two extra damage. And bada bing, bada boom. Your boy just won. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go, baby. I just love how creative this mono red deck can get with its win cons, man. Love it. All right, let's get one more instant classic in here, baby. Let's go. One more game. One more game. God, I just cannot wait to hang this displayed up, man. I'm like so excited. Tomorrow, I've got so much work ahead of me, but cleaning this garage out getting this hung up I want to get my other like Naruto I want to get my my Naruto one that's a display as well the orange one I want to get it into like a frame uh in frame of the camera so you guys can see it but I don't know how I'm going to do it yet not sure how I'm going to do it yet so many things I got to figure out all right we got an uprising that's a win con that's all I needed to see that's all I needed to see, Chief. Clerics again. Clerics again. I know I'm saying that like I've I've seen him a thousand times. I really have. Um, I ended up in the 80s because of another deck I was trying to figure out and uh, kept running into clerics, 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 and uh, now we're here. So not fun. Love seeing the current though. The current makes me so happy. There's our first exile target. Got the brittle blast, baby. Let's go. And it's nice too, because again, this marks everything on the field that's out there as a target for exiling effects. So in the future, this will not have disturbed. That's not the card. I almost screwed that up. Don't want to do that. Doing this main phase just because, uh, you know, anytime they cast a spell, they're going to get life gain. So get rid of it now. Get rid of it now before it's too hard to get rid of. Conduct the current. Inspiration is the most flexible card, so might as well give that the ability to deal more damage. If we need to go face with it, we will. It's a 3-1 human cleric that taps things down and they can get another cleric in their hand. Just until the end. Okay, I was going to say, isn't there a catch to that? I couldn't remember. All right. Uprising it is. Uprising is a great... Tool to block that angel. It's an angel. It's a human cleric. It's called Evangel. Evangel. Great, great body to block with, and they steal my uprising, which is really not good for us. That's terrible. I will make that trade literally every day of the week. Take the Thermal Alchemist, I think. It's a nice body to block with, and then uh, we can blow up the Apparition anytime. We have so many ways we can do it, so let's just play the Alchemist here. Prepare some damage. 
Okay, Hive of the Eye Tyrant comes in. That was something I considered for sure. Um, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Chandra survives. You're really cramping my style. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we lose a this field of ruin. I was honestly kind of worried about that like that. Uh, that's fine. We have so much instant speed. Oh, actually, we don't have a lot of instant speed, do we? we? Just have a couple. All right, so we will have to take care of this now with one of these. I say we do it with this and hold up frostbite for the hive. So let's activate this. Blow up this. Get a 4-4. Four four. And now we're really good, man. We just keep we just keep pinging them to death with the thermal alchemist. Let's just hope they don't get another Skyclave apparition. That would be a little bit ugh. I don't know why they would attack in here. I've got the double block ready to go. I guess they want to kill Thermal Alchemist, which is kind of annoying. I don't really want to give that up for that, so I guess we have to use this on the land. Not the most ideal play, but... Could have double blocked there, but they could have just killed the Alchemist, which is really our only win con at the moment. So... Wow! <laughs> they give it up. They are done, man. They've seen enough, and we finally hit the 90s. Let's go. We're back in the 90s. Time to start grinding, baby. You know, when I originally made this list, I, I never thought it was going to be like an upper echelon deck that I made, but this thing always comes through. Like it came through back in the, the first time I made it. Now with the new cards, it's even better because this deck is, this deck is lit. It is nice. Oh, two uprisings and an alchemist. Definite snap keep on this one. Snappy, snappy keep. We curve right into the inspiration too. Can't ask for more than that. Cannot ask for more than that. And we see another white source, which means we're probably playing clerics if I had to take a guess. <laughs> if you see a black or blue land come down here. Yep, there it is. Surprise, surprise. Magic Missile's kind of nice. I haven't seen that in a minute. There's the first Valkyrie. We got the answer though, ready to go. Man, we are just kind of destroying uh, clerics today, aren't we? Would have loved to seen at least the land come down there, but it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Gone forever. No pyre for you, my friend. No skyclave to bring it back either. Magic missile can deal with the little guys, but I need to find a land here. That's annoying, but that's fine. Probably going to take magic missile because it's a great answer to the spellbinder. One of the best answers you can have to the spellbinder. Something about Magic Missile just calls to me. It's such a great card. Such a cool artwork, such... I don't know. It feels very World of Warcraft. And I like it. We'll be seeing you, Spellbinder. We'll be seeing you. We've already got them down to 10 and we're barely like, it feels like we're barely doing anything to them. We're really just kind of picking their creatures off one by one here. Thermal alchemist damage adds up quick because it's really two. It's really two a turn, you know? Here's another one for you. go here all 
All right, that's fine. That can stay for now. We'll grab a prophecy. Prophecy to draw some cards, which is really what we need. We need more cards here. We've got two uprisings. Those will definitely win us the game. Um, we also can royally wrap their face here. Uh, kicker for seven though. Three, four, five. We're two away. If we top deck two lands in a row. Oh, that's frustrating. If we can get a... Um, if we can get the... Uh, Oh man, our sweeper. I keep forgetting the name of this thing. Conductive current. If we can get that off the top, man, whew, that's going to do wonders for us. Uh, another land. No, probably not. Cause we're going to use Royal eruption right here. Now another uprising. That's kind of good. That's kind of good. Oh, that's going to give him a 1-1 one, one counter. Totally forgot about that. But you know, we got rid of that one because it was going to get a lot more 1-1 one, one counters. So that's fine. Let's just drop these uprisings, man, and just get this over with. We drop these uprisings, let them get to 13, and we blow up their face. That's the only way we're going to pull this off quickly. Oh, man. These Inquisitor Captains are so busted. They're so good, man. And they get another one. And they got another one. Man, I really hope I get Conductive Current off the top. It's the only thing that's just, like, that would be the only thing that would be justice. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the crap that I'm being dealt here, man. All right, well, here we go. Wish me luck. Let's see if I can get to 13 before they can get me dead. <laughs> if I find one more land, I can Magic Missile one of these things, but that's not very helpful. What do we need? Dude, we just need the current. I mean, the current would just... The current would absolutely obliterate their board. Are you kidding me, man? So here's what I don't understand. Are they conjuring these Inquisitors? Oh, they are playing copies with the Mimic. I didn't even notice that. I was like, why are these different styles? It's because it's the freaking Mimic. Fair game, fair play. They go with another Inquisitor Captain instead of the Valkyrie, which means less life gain, which I can get down with. That's pretty cool. Uh, geez, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. Freaking kidding me. Man, one conductive current would have just absolutely decimated them, but. We didn't find it. It's unfortunate. GG's, no worries. Um, that's going to wrap it, though. Let's go ahead and end this with some final thoughts on the deck here. And that's going to do it for today's gameplay footage, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the part of the video where we talk about things that we might want to look at changing in the deck or what we did like about it if we don't have anything to change. Uh, but before I do that and dive into it, just want to say a huge Thank you and shout out to everyone who's made it this far into the video. It really means a lot to me. It helps the algorithm and it pushes my videos out to more people when you stay this long. So huge shout out to you. Appreciate you guys for being here. And uh, with that being said, let's talk about the list, man. So I think it performed phenomenally. I think the two games that we ended up dropping on, they were unfortunate. I mean, the first one we dropped to, I believe it was Gruul and they found three gold span dragons. There's not a whole lot we can do there. I mean, we answered everything we could but the problem, I think we were, I think we were on the the draw as well. If we had been on the play and we could answer those things more instant speed when they hit the battlefield, as opposed to waiting to on tap, kill something, and you know tap down, let them go, hasty creature, boom, hit your face. Now you get to on tap, kill it. It was like we were one step behind the whole time, so that was a little unfortunate. It was, it was, you know, it was just unlucky. No, nothing we could have done there. Uh, the following one with the clerics. We also got a slight bit of, you know, unluckiness. If we could have just pulled one conductive current, that whole game would have been completely shifted the other way. They would have probably conceded the moment that it hit the battlefield. So us not finding that really kind of screwed us over there. Um, but I mean, clerics are going to be clerics, man. They're going to be tough. They're going to be hard to beat, especially when they start going off. Inquisitor captain, really hard card to beat at the moment. Um, 
Because if you blow up the board, they play an Inquisitor Captain. Next thing you know, they got 35 creatures on the field somehow. <laughs> but um, no, it's a good time, man. I think the deck is very powerful. I think it works really, really well. I wish we could have got the current off with the Magic Missile. I think that would have been really cool to see that go off a couple of times. Um, as far as things I would change, um, nothing comes to mind, top of mind, um, as far as things I would outright change that specifically you know, jump to the, to, to my head, but, um, there are things like Royal Eruption, which are really nice finishers, uh, that don't see a lot of play. Cause I'd rather play this if I would kick it, um, you know, playing this for two for three damage. There's so many things that can do that. Um, specifically the fact that it's a sorcery is kind of lame, but the fact that it has that kicker is really what makes it a sell for me. But, um, not not very often are we actually playing that so there are some other options there are some really cool things too there are things like the abrade that deals three damage just like the uh royal eruption does problem is you can't throw the three damage to any target this does creatures only but it does have that tied in effect of destroying a target artifact which could be pretty helpful there are a lot a lot of burn spells you can, uh, you know, kind of sift through and choose from. We've got burn spells that deal three damage to creature or planeswalker, but also have the tide and effect of, you know, cycling some cards out of your hand. Um, you've got burn spells uh, like play with fire. Play with fire. I'm looking for it right now. I don't see it. Now I'm looking silly, but play with fire is a deal two to the, you know, you have your opponent or creature and uh, you can get some scrying capabilities out of it. It's a one drop. So you can kind of mix and match and play with what you want um, as far as your burn spells go in this deck. It's very, very flexible. Um, as far as the threat to win the game. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a new, th here's another threat. Uh, you can kind of play with the threats even a little bit too, because there's things like Smoldering Dragon. So Smoldering Dragon is a great you know, a little uh, surprise tool that you can throw into this deck. If you don't like Thermal Alchemist, um, you can throw in the Smoldering Egg in its place. This could also get the job done. I personally think the Thermal Alchemist will get a little more value for you, a little more bang for your buck um, over time because it's dealing, you know, upwards to three damage a turn right as it comes in and it, and it loses its summoning sickness. This is going to take a few turns. We don't run spells that are insanely big. So uh, we're not, is it turns? We're not running a, a seven drop, take an extra turn. So it's not going to hatch very fast. So it's a little more of an investment, but once it does hatch, the damage is obviously incredibly a lot higher than the uh, Thermal Alchemist. So you can kind of play mix and match with the, the, the threats as well. But I would advise you to have at least eight, at least eight ways to win the game, which is why we went with eight uprisings, eight alchemists, we had it down to six. That was not it. And uh, we were losing a lot of games. So you want to have at least eight ways to win the game. And uh, I think these two are the best way to do it. Because not only do they burn your opponent's face, but they do a really good job of protecting your life total, which is huge. So um, that's really all I have to say about the deck, though, man. It's, it's a lot of fun. It, it, you can easily turn this around, make it your own version, and have fun with it and get more creative and uh, still have success with it. I'm, I'm sure of that. So um, I hope you enjoyed this list before i hop out of here and say my final goodbyes just as always if you guys have any ideas leave them in the comments down below man it helps out as well on the algorithm and uh, i do like to read the comments as best i can and you know i really appreciate that so uh, let me know what you guys think if you got any uh, cool ideas and uh before i get out of here finally just want a huge shout out to the uh marty mob man just huge huge thank you and appreciation goes out to the marty mob at the end of every video because the marty mob is the members here on the uh, the channel, um, it's a membership program that they you know invest financially into to help support the channel and myself. Um, so I can't thank them enough. If you guys want to learn more about the Marty Mob and how to become a member, you can hit the join button down below or the link in the description below. It'll tell you all about it, but you get some cool perks and benefits to your account. Uh, but that's gonna do it, guys. I appreciate you all. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for being this this far into the video. So. Uh, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you Wednesday. Till next time. Peace. Hit him three times like a hat trick. The name is says you know Patrick. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks to the meta. This ain't cheap.